hello welcome back again to NX motion tutorial so in this session I will discuss about 3d contact so a solid object contact with solid object okay right now I have a multi-body so this is not an assembly so you can see this is a multi-body the next thing I should do go to motion to create motion simulation okay now right click the motion simulation to create new dynamics and then in here I want to create link okay reset okay this is the first link I can retype the name is housing okay this is the link housing the second link is the shaft Okay. The third link is the ring in here. Ring and the last is the lever. Okay. Now, if you already make housing and the ring uh, together, so if you want to join together you can delete one and then edit it but in here I will not use that so I'm gonna make the housing and the ring uh, fixing or the fix in here fix and also the ring also fix the link so there are two to fix link in here now I'm going to click the joint Okay, I'm gonna create level join this link to this link. Specify the origin. Looking for the center. The factor is perpendicular of the surface. I click OK. Now I have level join, and here I also want to create level join. So between this link into with this link specify origin looking for the center here the factor is perpendicular okay now I have joined in here now I want to rotate this so we are going to edit go to the driver go to the polynomial 360 degrees per second I want to revolute this for two seconds. So next, I go to solution. Two seconds, maybe three hundred. Okay, five hundred. Maybe it's okay. Uh, let's solve it. Okay. Click, and then solve it. Animation. Let's see how it rotates. Okay. Now you can see there are some kind of interference and the uh, software ignore the interference between solid body now the next thing we can do is to create 3d contact so it create contact between solid and within solid object okay, for example I will give you the action one and the base this one this is contact now you can see we have 3d contact click solve and let's see the result now you can see when it move it colliding okay in here you see it's colliding okay now I want this uh, lever continued contact with this uh, surface so I need something to push between this lever surface and this contact surface so I'm going to use a spring now in here the spring it can be between link or inside the join it have the option slide the join and have the join if I go to the full join I click this join in here okay it has the value of the stiffness also and it also have the preload so if I don't click the preload maybe let's check what is the result Okay. 
Now you can see it's it's a push, but it doesn't have any preload in here. So if you have spring, but you want to insert the preload because in the real condition it's preloaded, then you go back, you just enter the preload, and then click OK. Click solve it. Go to animation. Now you can see the the contact is smooth and always contact the surface following the path following the shape of this contact surface because the spring in here is preloaded okay so that's it the 3d contact and the spring hope it's gonna be useful for you thank you for watching my video